Hi boys and girls, this is the story we're going to read today. It's called Love Monster and the Perfect Present, written by Rachel Bright. And I love this story and I got it from a student a really long time ago and it was her favorite story too, so she gave it to me. So now I get to share it with you. Let's get started. This monster. Hello, love monster. Thinks this monster is the most perfect monster in the whole world. Yes, they are the bestest of friends. Ah, monsters. They spend each and every day together, sometimes doing fun stuff outside, sometimes doing fun stuff inside, and sometimes doing nothing at all. But there is one day in Cutesville where these particular monsters live that is different from all of the others. Special day like no other. A very special day, in fact, when the streets are filled with lights, the air is filled with music, and the whole town gets super excited. Present day, when everyone gives a lovely someone something lovely, oh my goodness, to show how special they are. It's pretty much the best day ever. Wow, what can it be for me? So why does this monster look so worried? Well, this year, Love Monster wanted to give a certain someone something perfect. The monster, the most perfect present in the world. But finding such a thing is not easy. Hmm. It was time to think very hard and to go shopping. And oh, the shops were full of hundreds of wonderful, shinyful things. fantastic games with every box. Designer star shades, you'll be so much cooler. World's fastest sneakers. Find your perfect present here. Present day tomorrow, by today. Love Monster was sure he'd come to the right place. But as it turned out, wonderful shinyful things can be expensive, very expensive indeed. Sorry, buttons and fluff not accepted. Hard cash only. There just wasn't enough in his saving up jar. Oh dear, poor monster. What was he to do? It was almost present day, and there was only one thing worse than a not perfect present, and that was no present at all. Love monster worried all the way home. He had nothing. Nothing to show his perfect monster how much he cared. But that was when it hit him. Bonk. Perfect things to make and do for that special someone. Perhaps he had everything he needed. He had paints and glitter. He had some wood and some glue. And most important of all, he had an idea. There was a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it. He worked all night until the sun came up. And when present day arrived, so did the most perfect monster in the world. And phew, Love Monster did have something to give. Present day today, something to be very proud of. You see, sometimes the perfect present doesn't have to cost very much to mean absolutely everything. Look what he made. He worked really hard. The end. Have you ever made something super special for someone just like Love Monster? I know I have. I hope you like our story today and I can't wait to see you tomorrow for another great story. Bye!